Greetings to my fellow Rhodesians and uh, supporters of our YouTube series Fighting Men of Rhodesia. Um, I wanted to bring you up to date on recent events um, that um, have happened. Um, the one is the successful outcome of the fundraising initiative uh, uh, started by Jenny Upton in order to raise money for us to upgrade our video editing equipment. Um, the previous uh, laptop I was using was very much an entry level laptop and unable to run sophisticated video editing software such as Adobe Premiere and unable to process videos in 4K. Um, however, it did a good job and has brought us, uh, brought us this far. Um, but now with our intention to produce broadcast, a broadcast quality documentary movie, um, which Hannes talked about in his last interview, uh, it's necessary for me to start processing and filming videos in 4K. Uh, fortunately, I am able to do that now because we reached our target thanks to you, the generosity of the Rhodesian community. Um, and a lot of the ex-servicemen who fought in the Rhodesian War have given very generously and uh, uh, we had a modest target because um, you know computers, uh, laptops especially, um, especially if you're looking at high-end laptops can be very very expensive so we didn't go for a, uh, a crazy high-end laptop we just went for a laptop that would be adequate uh, for our needs um, and so I looked at a, at, a, at a gaming laptop I consulted with a lot of um, my friends and supporters who are uh, IT experts um, one of whom is is my nephew uh, my brother's son who was one of the developers of that game Call of Duty uh, when he worked at Activision and um, and he's very clued up on on what's out there at the moment um, and one of the computers that I was able to find that he recommended was an Asus uh, ROG Zephyrus the ROG stands for Republic of Gamers um, as many of you may know um, gaming laptops require the resources that are also required to edit videos and, and process uh, uh, pictures etc and run run programs like Adobe Premiere and Photoshop and things like that. Um, so I got the, the Asus Zephyrus. Uh, it's got an AMD Ryzen 7 processor, which is similar to an iCore, uh, a Core i7 processor, uh, sort of 12th gen. Um, it's got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card. Um, it's got 16 gigabytes of DDR RAM, uh, which is which is enough for video editing, may, maybe not, not enough for, for gaming, but it's certainly enough for video editing. Um, it's got 512 gigabytes of storage, which, which is great for, uh, for the hard drive, um, but I do have external uh, hard drives where, where I store all the movies. Um, and so it it's, um, was affordable for us. Um, and not crazy expensive and and now i've managed to buy that uh, and spend all the money that you donated i bought also um, an hd uh, camera to attach to the laptop because the laptop itself didn't have uh, an onboard camera so it's a slightly higher uh, definition than um, than the previous camera that was on my last laptop um, and uh, <clears throat> Both Hannes and I use external mics, etc. So yeah, thank you very, very much. Uh, we realized our, our desires and ambitions and I can now, um, we can now go ahead with, uh, with uh, advancing our um, desire to produce a broadcast quality documentary on the Rhodesian War, which uh, Hannes mentioned in his last interview. Um, other news, which I'd like to tell you about uh, coming up is um, Hannes is planning to move to Zambia uh, towards the end of next month, end of Feb. Um, he's going up in a couple of weeks time to, he owns a property there on the Zambezi River, um, quite close I think to where Daryl Watt is living and in about two weeks time 
he uh, is planning to interview Daryl uh, with uh, a, f a, a couple of top uh, Zipra commanders who were former enemies. The, the former enemies are now best pals, and they've actually entered into a, uh, a venture together, a wildlife conservation venture, which which. Hannes wants to talk to her, and when he interviews Daryl, the, the, the Zipra commanders will also be present and participating in that interview. So that should be really interesting. A lot of you are asking, what about Daryl Watt? What about Daryl Watt? Um, and so finally, after about a year of uh, trying to get a decent uh, interview with Daryl, we will be able to do that. Um, some of you may know that this channel you know, was started by me, but I invited Hannes to come in and do it as a joint venture, a 50-50 joint venture. And I think Hannes has added tremendous value. Um, the income that we get from YouTube, I split with Hannes 50-50, uh, but it's not a lot of money, you know, um, because most of our subscribers are in Zimbabwe and South Africa. Um, you know, if, I, if our subscribers were all in America or the UK, then I would probably be earning three or four times as much a month with the number of subscribers that I have and the level of views that I have than I currently am. Um, so I share that money with Hannes. We probably each get about, on average, about about, about 2,000 rand a month each, um, which is 500 rand a week, not really enough to live on. And, you know, this Fighting Men of Rhodesia series has become a full-time job for me now. Um, and a job that I'm really thoroughly enjoying. I really feel that the last years of my life are probably going to be the most productive years of my life and that, that I'm doing something useful and creating a, a legacy for everyone. And, you know, it's so weird how uh, growing up, being born and raised in Rhodesia um, and spending time, you know, a short amount of time compared to some guys in, in the Rhodesian Light Infantry has ended up supporting me, you know, in my, in my old age. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing. And, um, you know, I have about 60 um, subscribers who, who have joined our Patreon uh, uh, community. Uh, 60 out of 13 and a half thousand subscribers um, are, are, are supporting the channel financially every month. Uh, some at $3 a month, some at $25 a month. But all together, it's just enough for me to survive here in the Philippines. I would not be able to survive in uh, South Africa on this kind of money because in the Philippines, everything's about half the price of South Africa. Well, not everything, but most things like rent, uh, for example, I mean, I, I rent a, a nice studio apartment that you can see here uh, with an aircon and um, a kitchen and a fridge and everything uh, for about two and a half thousand rand a month. So that gives you an idea of, you know, I just couldn't do that in South Africa. My rent would be more than double that. Um, and um, so, yeah, I'm very grateful for your support. Without your support, I would not be able to survive and continue producing these videos. Talking of which, we have been producing about seven or eight videos a month which some of you have commented is too many um, that you can't keep up and uh, uh, although youtube likes it the more videos i produce the happier youtube is because my views are higher um, but uh, some of you have suggested that i should limit the number of videos to maybe one a week and so reduce the number to about uh, four videos a month i think in january so far i think we've published about five videos uh, so in 2023, you, you can anticipate at least one quality interview uh, per week. Uh, and so without further ado, I'm going to show you um, uh, a short unboxing of the new computer equipment so you can see where your, where your uh, hard-earned money went to. Um, and thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart uh, for supporting this channel. Thank you. Right, we've just been to the computer shop to buy the new computer which is um, I'm about to unbox now I bought some other accessories like a high definition camera uh, so that I can um, film uh, in HD and uh, process videos in 4k so without further ado uh, here's a quick little unboxing of the new computer that was very generously paid for by those of you who donated to fighting men of rhodesia um, and i just thought i'd let you know what uh, your money was spent on um, 
So it's an Asus ROG Zephyrus. Uh, the ROG stands for Republic of Gamers. Um, that's um, gaming computers are, are also good for uh, um, video editing because they have the necessary RAM, etc. Right inside um, this big box is a smaller box and some other accessories. Uh, so I'll just open these quickly and let you have a look. So once the box opened, uh, here you have the actual laptop, which we will open in due course. And then, uh, I'm not sure what's in here. But over here you have, came with a free wireless mouse. Um, a uh, USB charger, which is great because you can use your uh, power, power bank to charge the laptop so it's great for traveling and then a um, normal electrical outlet type charger here um, which um, and then Here are the various cables. And um, I think that's everything in this main box. Um, and over here you have, looks like a cover. Um, bag and this is the bag that comes with um, so it's really just a uh, Well, here is the um, the actual laptop that I bought. I've got a wireless mouse. Next to it is my uh, Wi-Fi, which I get about uh, about 100 megabits up and 100 megabits per second down. So I have very nice fast Wi-Fi. There's the HD camera I was talking about, which uh, um, enables me to take high quality uh, videos. Um, you can see here the the specs um, and the nice keyboard um, and here's our fighting men of Rhodesia dashboard with the, the latest um, uh, video that we've published on with Tug Morkel um, this video has been doing exceptionally well uh, in fact if I uh, click on that um, go to video analytics you'll see that views are two times higher than usual more regular viewers are choosing to watch it and they're watching it longer helping to increase its reach on YouTube recommendations you'll see the gray line uh, represents um, normal video performance and you can see the normal video performance at this time is around 4,000 and you can see Tug's video has had over 9,200 uh, views so far so yeah that's very encouraging um, and we are now sitting at um, 13,490 subscribers. So thank you very much, guys. I thought I'd just let you see the new uh, computer.